Here in Pullman, Washington, the Beasley Coliseum and Washington State now 6-0 and following an 82-54 victory over the Montana State Bobcats out of the Big Sky. Greg Heister, Dan Dickow, entertaining game right from the opening tip. Washington State came to play tonight. F.A. Abagidi, he's no longer a secret, is he, Dan? Like, he is reverberating across the landscapes of college basketball. In particular, coaches in the Pac-12 are going to have to prepare a game plan to stop him. But it's difficult because he's starting to show the ability to score on the low block. He can step out, hit a little pick and pop three, and when he's active on the glass, that's another facet. And Noah Williams has come of age, a career high tonight, 21 points, consistent 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 now after that first game of the year well I'm going to use that word consistent one more time he has been consistent because that is the true calling card of somebody who really hones in on their craft and tries to improve he had, took a tremendous leap from freshman to sophomore year and with that work ethic it's starting to pay off great and, night for him and Ryan Rapp gets the start tonight because of the injury to Isaac Bonton and boy was Rapp good a career game for him it started with that opening possession a little back down in the post to a fadeaway a career high as you mentioned but without Bonton in the starting lineup tonight he seemed to have been a calming influence for the rest of the team he played within himself he got the Cougars into offense and defensively He's much more solid than I think I gave him credit for early on in the season. A tremendous night for that young man. A complete game victory for Washington State tonight to get the 6-0. 19 for Abagidi, 21 for Williams, 12 for Ryan Rapp. The Cougars are 6-0. They win at 82-54. Pullman is happy with this Washington State men's basketball team. What a team it is.